What up YouTube, it's me, it's me, it's your favourite stay, how you doing? Welcome to the vlog. Um, I thought I'd start this vlog off, um, what day is it, it's Sunday, yeah. Um, thought I'd start this vlog, out, vlog off, the wife's just popped out with the kids, so I thought I'd get this done, while well, I have five minutes to myself. Um, yeah, thought I'd start this vlog off with the top ten from last week. Now, I did this... I've only just started doing it again last week, I think it was. Um, last week was a lot better than this. These, this is the kind of this is kind of the week where, um, if you saw me the video of me walking around the park having a nervous breakdown, um, these are the sales from that week. Uh, going through my sales like I've just done for that week, I realised why I was having a little bit of a breakdown. <laughs> but yeah, it's picked up. This week has been a lot better. Uh, just hope next week carries on. So right, we'll go through your top 10 sales from last week. So this is from the 31st of May until the 6th of June. Um, but actually, it's just June. Oh, God. sorry, wobbly hand time. Um, it's just June um, because the 31st of May was pretty pants. So right, um, so in at number 10 uh, are these hotter, fresh snakeskin print comfort leather sandals shoes uk size four and a half um yeah i paid 6.99 for these they went for 18.99 so there's no best offers i just think they're fresh i maybe should have gone for a little bit more because of the snakeskin um but i did find a few pairs that had snakes been snake skin print and were hotter fresh and they were going for around 15, so I'll just shot for 15. But they, they didn't, I think they need like a few weeks they were listed. Um, yeah, the hot ones, I, I went through a phase since going back to lockdown, just picking up a lot of hotter stuff, a lot of hotter shoes. Um, I paid 6 99 for these, I don't think I will anymore, um, because I've got quite a few upstairs now, so I know, you know, I'm not going to pick up any unless they're, you know, around the £5 mark. But um, yeah, the profit on these was like four pound ninety three, um, so not fantastic. Sorry, this is where it gets a little bit wobbly. In at number nine was this um, Paul Smith jeans, salmon pink men's t-shirt, size medium. Um, yeah, again four quid went for sixteen pound fifty, so. £12.50, so I must have sent an offer of £12.50 to someone. It was originally on for £14.99, as you can see. Um, so, yeah, sold for £16.50, take away the postage. So, that's £12.50 and made a profit of £5.78. Um, if you are new to the vlog and you're wondering why this is dead, wobbly and not very professional, I did try and do it a professional way and... Some of the viewers complained, so I always do it wobbly hand. Um, right, yeah, next, England tops have just been mad. Um, yeah, it, they've just been mental. I've sold about five or six now. Um, but, yeah, as you can see, this was on a 10% um, promo. Uh, I do 50% promos for stuff that's been on for over a year. And then 25% promos and 10% promos for anything on, that's been on for over um, six months. But only five items per day. Um, that's what I do. But yeah. Uh, so just an England Umbro polo shirt. This isn't like an official... Um, it's an official Umbro England shirt, but it's not a squad shirt, if you know what I mean. Um, I've got another one of them coming up, so I'll, I'll show you the difference. But yeah, um, so just like a kind of merchandise shirt, this was just a red po England polo shirt. Um, originally on for £14.99. Um, yeah, so I think I accepted an offer of £11.99. Yeah, I accepted an offer of £11.99. So yeah, it was originally on £14.99, 10% off £13.49. Somebody sent me a best offer of £11.99 and I've talked that because it's been on for way over a year. Um, so yeah, this cost me 3 went for £15.99, take away the £4 postage, so £11.99 and made a profit of £6.35. Um, you know it's a bad week when we've got badges in the top 10. 
Um, so yeah, uh, Warner Brothers Studio Store enamel pin badge, Tweety Pie Cutie Bird license plate. Um, this was in a job lot that I bought from another reseller. Uh, cost me 7p when you break it down. And um, the person that sells me these does me a really good deal. <laughs> uh, so yeah, cost me 7p. Uh, they were list as you can see, it was listed for 9.99 with a pound postage. Um, I've got 8.99, so I must have took a best offer of 7.99. So I took two pound off. Uh, cost me 7p. Went for 8.99 takeaway pound postage, so 7.99, and made a profit of 6 pound 38. Can't complain for a little badge, can you? Next, another badge. Um, an undated poppy pin badge. Now, if you can see the title there, eBay don't like you listing poppy badges, which maybe I shouldn't be doing it if they don't like me listing it. But there's loads on eBay. I mean, there's a crap ton that are on eBay. Um, but if you use the word P-O-P-P-Y, it blocks the listing. If you just use P-O-P-P-I-E, um, yeah, it, they don't have a problem with that. So, yeah, it's weird. Um, but, so, I'll just try and keep the listing pretty short, but I know with poppy badges, they'll sell pretty quickly. So, yeah, this went for ten ninety nine, so nine ninety nine with a pound postage. And I made a profit of £8.12. This also cost me 7p from the same job lot. Uh, up next, well, what's going on? Jack and Jones Stan Anti Fit Blue Denim Twisted Jeans, waist 32, leg 32. Um, Pick these up from a charity shop, I'm guessing. Cost £2. Went for the asking price of £14.99. Um, again, probably could have got more, uh, but because they sold pretty quickly. But yeah. Looking up Stan Anti Fit, that was the going price, so yeah. Oh well. In at number four was some Timberland Altamont Fisherman Brown Leather Men's Sandals, size nine and a half. Um, I don't think these went, no, these went for. So I took the four pound postage off, so I, yeah. No, I've sent somebody an offer of $21.99. So I sent somebody an offer of twenty one ninety nine. They accepted it. So yeah, they went for twenty five ninety nine with four pound postage. So twenty one ninety nine. Um, they cost me seven ninety nine. Uh, made a profit of nine pound ninety three. So if you haven't been paying attention, it's none of these, none of the first seven have been over a ten of profit. So yeah, not a fantastic week. But now these three are over a ten of profit. So yay! Uh, up next, this. Ugliness, I'm sure I showed this in a video. Opposite retro 1980s test card standby screen, sh standby screen, short sleeve blazer jacket size 40. Um, yeah, this was originally on for I think it was 30 quid. Yeah, it was originally on for 30 quid. Somebody sent me an offer of 24.99, so I've took it. I haven't really, this has been listed, I think it was after the first lockdown. I picked this up. Um, so it's been listed for a while, uh, but yeah, I haven't had any traction on it. Somebody sent me an offer for twenty four ninety nine, so I took it. Um, cost me a tenner listed, sold for twenty eight ninety nine, so twenty four ninety nine four pound postage, and made a profit of ten pound forty nine. In at number two, I'm gonna drop this phone soon. Um, ben Sherman khaki green men's hooded zip up check jacket cap size XL. Um, I was surprised this didn't sell earlier, um, but uh, yeah, again, this was on for 30 quid, somebody sent me an offer for 25, I've took it, uh, cost me 9.99, sold for 29, so 25 with £4 postage, made a profit of £10.51, and in at number one, an England shirt, um, England shirt 2017 to 2018, Red away, whatever size medium. Um, this cost me two ninety nine. Sold for twenty one ninety nine. So I was, go on, I'll say seventeen ninety nine with four pound postage. Oh no, it's on the screen. Um, so yeah, made a profit of eleven pound seventy six. So yeah, I've sold more England tops this week. Um, I've, I've been picking up. As I've said, I always pick up football shirts. Um, kind of collect them through my eBay. 
So um, yeah, they're, they're now shifting. I'm gonna have to collect up more for the next um, tournament, which I'm not sure when it is. I know the Euros is on now, but I'm not sure is what is the world normally. There's two years between the Euros and World Cup. I don't know if we'll, the World Cup's going to be next year. I'm not sure. But yeah, so that was my top 10 from last week. So from the 31st of May until the 6th of June. So yeah, cheers. See you in a bit. What up, YouTube? How you doing? It is Tuesday. If anybody um, saw me in the chat or anything yesterday, I apologise. I don't know if I said anything to offend anyone. I apologise. Extremely well. I won't say I was extremely drunk. I was um I was getting there. Yeah. I was pretty tipsy after the England game. Um and then for some reason decided to go on the internet. <laughs> so um yeah. Apologise if I offended anyone. Uh, I thought I'd go through I didn't get through um doing my orders yesterday. I was oh, I wasn't worth anything to anyone yesterday. It, I don't know. it really makes me go, I need to, I can't be drinking, I just need to not, I get all paranoid, I get all messes with my head, it's counterproductive, I don't get anything done, um, yeah, just, anyway, um, so I thought I'd go through uh, orders that are going out, um, it's continually seems to be, you know, picking up, um, I'm like, I think it's like 20% up from last month um, and money's coming in now so yeah seems to be continually picking up so uh, we'll go through the little bits sorry again my face all literally I've been in the garden getting crap from the garden right getting crap I mean getting quality merch that I've got to pack up so I'm full of eye fever right we'll go through what's going out jewellery first There's a couple of bits of jewellery a gold and teal Bangle, like brass tone, gold tone, bangle. That went for three ninety nine. It cost me fifty p. Um, and then there's another bit of jewellery. And then we've got a shite load of badges, badges and brooches, and then the clothing. Oh, there's a pair of shorts that'll be behind the sofa, but I can't bother getting them. Alright, so we've got a necklace. This went for four quid. Cost me a band. Just a, um, what did I say? Retro plastic chunky cluster bead beaded pink necklace. Uh, so that went for four. Nothing amazing. Four quid cost me a band. A band, it cost me a band. Uh, badges. Right, so we've got. I'm a happy eater. Oh, it's an happy eater. There we go. I'm a happy eater. That cost me 35p and for 2 dollars oh. uh, We have a Macmillan one. So that's one went for two ninety nine. What's this Macmillan one gone for? This one went for three pound fifty. Um, a Macmillan Clark's one. So it's um like a boot. So it's Macmillan Cancer Relief Clark's badge. Cost me eight p. That went for three fifty. Um. Oh, this one's alright. This one went yesterday. For all right money. Where are you? No, it didn't go yesterday or the day before. There we go. So like a dove of peace. Um, brass tower and badge. I don't know why I hold all that. You can see that. Oh, 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 oh. It's focusing on my beautiful eyes. No. There we are. Focus on that. It's still on my beautiful fingers um but yeah that one went for a tenner believe it or not and um, just a brass tone dove if you can tell for a tenner another kind of gold tone angel thing in a jig where's that one gone gold tone angel or cupid or whatever you want to call it oh 
Do, 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 do. Yeah, that one went for three pound fifty. Took a little cupid. Uh, that cost me eleven p. Uh, PDSA one. PDSA. Eden is it Eden Blyton or Edith Blyton? I don't know. Yeah, Eden Eden Blyton's PDSA bin badge. Um, that one went for what was it, Tanner? Three quid. That's a man of rose. Um, yeah, glad to see the back of one of these because the. I've had them for ages since I've been doing badges. Where you gone? You're right there. Where have you gone? Why did you run away? There you go. Two quid that one for. Just a VW VW van, camper van. One for two quid. Cost me like twenty-five pound on it. Um, is this a RSPB one? There's the arrow. Each of do you love me? Are you raining? Yeah, that one cost me seven p. That one for four pound fifty. Just a RSPB daffodil. Um, this one here. Yeah, this one's a weird one. Didn't know what it was, so I just advertised it. Like basically what it says on the tin. Um, I just put silver town twenty years pin badge, and it's up for two ninety nine. And then two more, which one of them sold this morning actually. Keisha, do you love me? I will ride in. But if it doesn't even like me, but I want you and I need you and I die for you always. Um, I think that's Drake. C N H C. What is it? Complementary and Natural Healthcare Council pin badge. That one went for three pound twenty-five. Cost me seven p. And then the last one. This one's the only sale I've had today so far. It might be going a bit dead, but we'll see. Touch wood, it's not. Um, panda. Just a panda bear. For 8p and it went for 4 quid. So, yeah, those are my badges. Um, we've got a Ben 10 figure. Look at that. Ben Mummy. The last drips and drapes of my old Ben 10 stock. Still hanging in my hand. What did that go for? So that one for seven quid cost me a pound. Um, it's gonna fall on it. We've got a couple pairs of hotter shoes. Couple pairs of hotters. So we've got these hotter grey Leanne STD. So Leanne standard, I'm guessing. So Leanne standard leather suede lace up shoes. Cost me seven ninety nine. I think I said yesterday in the clip I did that I don't think I'll pay any more than a fiver for. It, other than that, you can kind of tell. So I picked them up. Yes, they, I think they do look feminine, but I'm kind of trainers. So maybe I'd pay a little bit more for trainers. Can get about twenty five. But those ones I'm not going to pay any more than a fiver. But um, yeah, these went for twenty one ninety nine. They cost me seven ninety nine. And then some the ones you've just seen. You've seen some more hotter ones. These went for about 15, I think. Uh, these are Bliss. So hotter Bliss shoes. I think they went for 15, I think. And I want you. And I need you. And I'm there. No, they went for 18 quid. So they were listed for 20, I'm guessing. Um, and they went for 18, but they cost me seven again. So I'm not gonna think it. And then if you watched my video last week um, of the sales going out, 
I was surprised by a um, what do I call it? Yeah, a Captain Scarlet sale. Um, just the the bigger version. So if you're watching my video, I explained I picked up two versions of it. I picked up a small one which sold last week for thirty, and then I picked up this one. This one's gone for thirty five. Um, tried to show in the pictures. It's got a little bit of like you know, sun damage and stuff, but yeah, it's still alright. Thirty five quid that went for. Cost me three quid. So that's the big bits. Don't touch my stuff, kitten. Don't touch my stuff. I don't want to have to bring you. So don't touch my stuff. Goddamn kittens. Freaking kittens. I swear to God. Love them to bits. But my God. We've, we've started letting the kittens. And I don't sleep in the kitchen anymore. You just become like a chore. Like it was half an hour. Before we go to bed, Charlie, he's easy. You just show, show him some shine, you know, give him, give him a treat, and he'll go in the kitchen. Rosie was like a task; like she just would not, would not go anywhere near the kitchen. And you'd have to wait until she needed a wee or something, and then you'd have to shut her in the kitchen. And it could be half an hour, so we just went, you know what, forget it. But in the night now, my God, I get woke up so many times with either a cat on me, a cat trying to climb the top of the wardrobe. Cat, cats scrapping up and down the stairs. Freaking nightmare. Love to be for my god. Um, first sale, DeWalt jacket. Um, kind of anorak jacket. Uh, like a hooded zip up jacket, cagoule anorak thing. Uh, this cost me three ninety nine. This went for twenty ninety nine. Um, so it would have originally been on for twenty five. And I've just took a four pound pasty job. So on for twenty ninety nine. Um, oh, sorry, I can't, I can't bother. I'm just going to go through um, as they are. Uh, a Reese kind of short sleeve cardio. I was surprised with this one. Um, this cost me three quid. Went for twenty ninety nine as well, so twenty five ninety nine in total with the postage. So again, would have just sent an offer with the postage off, and someone's accepted it. Um, man. Keep that until the last. These I've got to make sure I don't balls these up. So I was saying yesterday, another four England shirts have gone out. So I'm not gonna. I've got to try and make sure I don't send the wrong ones to anyone. Um. So what we got? So we got an England one. An away one, 2018 to 2020. That went for 15. Um, which is this one? I mean, they're so similar. It's a nightmare. Uh, that one's got the tag ripped out. So I should go through how much they went for. So I did. I think it's that one. That one went for a tenner. That's a 2010 to 2012 one. You just make sure that I'd literally stop picking these up because they were just piling up and I had so many of them. Um, which one's this? A large. So, large. So, this is a 2006. Yeah, so this is a 2006 to 2008 one that went for 13 quid. So all these would have been listed if they're going for around 13, 12, they would have been listed for 15. Someone sent me an offer. And then this one, which is should be an XL. Yeah, um, an XL one. I haven't gone for what one, that one for 11.99. But yeah, again, costing me around two pound, three pound from charity shops over the last few years. Um, is it England tops just going out? Euros getting. Wish I had some more international tops. 
this one I'm worried about it coming back, I've got to be honest. This was in the job, this was in like a job lot I brought from another reseller, like Amy. Um, it's a Marnie jeans, it's 2XL, but it is in pretty bad condition. It's not, it's just faded, as you can tell. Faded around the neck, faded pretty much everywhere. It went for 16 quid, it cost me like 194. But I'm hoping they've looked through all the, um, you know, all the photos and that, because, and I've explained in the listing that it's not in the best condition. But I've got a feeling, you know, when you get a feeling. Um, some my hose and trousers. Again, sending an offer with the four pound postage off. So these went for twenty ninety nine. The New York ones um, cost me two ninety nine. From that job lot that I well not job lot I got like six or seven pairs the other week. Um, some women's diesel jeans. Yeah, some women's diesel jeans. Uh, Vixie, it's a diesel Vixie kind of flare style jeans. So Diesel Vixie, they went for $25.99, cost me four quid. Uh, just a Wallace top that I would have got from a job lot from another reseller. Where is it? There it is. So yeah, seven quid this one went for. Cost me 90p. Just a leopard print sleeveless Wallace vest top. You are one, will you? I'm putting them down there. I was just looking at me like, I'll oh, fuck your shit up. <laughs> I'll, 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 cut, I'll cut all this to pieces. Charlie, if I would have threw that the floor within a metre of him, he would have ran off. Rousey just looks at you like, I scared of you. What are you doing there? I scared of you, homie. So she's like, I scared of you, homie. What you going to do? What you, you ain't going to do nothing. That's what she, the way she looks at me. The way she talks as well. Um, and then this one, the final. Oh no, I've got another item. Um, Guinness Union Jack Polo shirt. I was talking about this the other day. 4XL. Uh, it went for 20 quid. Uh, it cost me a fiver. And then the last one. Some le leather motorcycle trousers. They are originally on for 50. I was having... Well, I don't think I had a sale until like three o'clock, and this was the first one that came through. Um, somebody sent me an offer, and I was like, "Go on, man!" Uh, but they really originally, uh, originally on for fifty, and I accepted thirty nine. Nothing it was, yeah, so forty five in total. Um, just some. What's the brand? Royka. So some Royka leather motorcycle trousers. They went for 39 quid, that cost me a tenner. So yeah, that's everything that's going out today. So I've got a busy moment ahead of me. So I better get started. See you in a bit. What up YouTube, how you doing? I thought I'd just put a bow in this little, um, little vlog. Um, yeah, yesterday, I don't know if you, I don't know, I, I might, I might put a clip. Um, I've got a little clip of Liam, but, um, the soft play. Uh, we've started taking, well, I've started taking Liam to a soft play on a Tuesday. So my daughter has um, like after school club on a Tuesday and then she needs to be picked up at like half four. But there's a special there's a special needs um, session at a soft play on the other side of Wolverhampton. So my wife drops us off, um, and me and Liam go and you know go and chilling there for like uh, a couple of hours, and then my wife goes and picks Lacey up from school, and then comes and picks up up. So it's, yeah, another bonus. Of, sorry, another bonus of us having the car. Um, but yeah, he's enjoying it, but knackered. He's knackered by the time he's finished in there. Uh, but yeah, he, he has a weird, I don't know if you, you can, 
it's so hard on what you what he understands and what he doesn't understand. Um but he seems to be a lot more relaxed. He'll talk to the ladies that run the um run the soft play because they like they do them like a little meal as well, like chicken nuggets and chips and stuff on in there. Um but he'll like he'll talk to the ladies there, he'll talk to some of the parents there. He started doing this thing when he wants to point stuff out, like using his head, he just look <laughs> like some lady like didn't didn't tell him off but just said something about not climbing up the slide. Um and I didn't see him climbing up the slide and then I was like, Lynn, you know not to climb the slide and then he gets obsessed at that lady said and I'm like, which lady is eh, eh. like he's got a horn on his head. Um but yeah, he's getting more confident chatting to people, which is good. Uh and also today I've had I had this customer today, which I know now. I think I might have mentioned it in the last clip. I had when I was going through the sales. There was an Amani jeans kind of sweater, which was faded and faded around the neck, had bobbling on it. Kind of exp I explained it all in the listing. Um, I sold it for like sixteen quid, um, and this person, like, the second I. I am um, hit marked as dispatched. Was asking me for the tracking number. Like literally, they got the message within a couple of minutes. They were asking me for the tracking number, and I like, like I, I was still packing stuff up, so I didn't get back to the to the message. I like read the message, but then didn't get back to the message. So then they messaged me again, but then I, I didn't accidentally, but I clicked on that message. So I was like, oh, what's happening? He's on reading the messages, and then this person's like. You've read my message. Why are you not getting back to me? And then I'll, I'll read that message. You've read this message. You you read my last message. Um, can you get back to me straight away, please? And then I read that message. And then they went, um, "Is there an issue? Is there going to be an issue with my order? I need to know straight away." Oh, for God's sake! So I had to like message them and say, "Look, no, mate, I I've packed it." But it's not even gotten to the post office yet. Chill out. I'll give you the tracking number like when um when I get it. It looks a mess there now. Um but yeah, just nightmare. Some customers. Um anyway, so yeah, I thought I'd put a little bow in this vlog, vloggy vlog. Um I'm gonna go sourcing in a bit, I think. So I'm gonna pick up some stuff. Um but for now I'm gonna love ya and leave ya. Uh yeah. I don't, these vlogs now are just such a hodgepodge of me chatting shit. I hope you enjoy them. Let me know. Peace out, stay safe, stay beautiful, and I'll see you in my next video.